What up, y'all? Welcome to the video, man. Um, with this video, I want to congratulate Javante Davis and Ryan Garcia for coming through with this fight for April twenty, what April twenty second in T Mobile Arena. Uh, man, that's big, bro. That's what's up, man. I, I couldn't wait for the real announcement. You know, Tank posted it, Ryan posted it. Steven Espinosa confirmed it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't had time or wanted to play with the games that be going on with, with these fights, but this shit was announced for real. Like, it, it's really done. And it seemed to me that Ryan Garcia wanted to fight more than uh, Terrence Crawford. You know, wanted to smoke with Earl. You know, it, you know and these guys are much younger. You know, uh, Ryan Garcia, man, the little nigga got hot, man. He got hot. But he did duck before. I won't forget that. It, because for a so called mini Pacquiao fight or whatever. But, you know what I'm saying? He a product of uh, Oscar De La Hoya or whatever. So maybe he can blame it on him or some shit. I don't fucking know. But either way, he still get my. Um, He still get my props for coming through with this fight, the even fight team, because uh, with all the shit he gonna be talking during this promotion and the things he have said before, he's gonna get his head knocked off. You know what I'm saying? He, he he's he's going night night. You know, Tank is about to read him a bedtime story. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> Not no cat in the hat. He's going to be that cat in the hat. You hear me? Like, it's going to be bad for him. He's going to get real ugly in there. You know what I'm saying? But I see it being real exciting for a few rounds. Until that mistake comes. Tank is going to be waiting for that mistake. You know? And, and, and Ryan, he's going to make the mistake. You know what I'm saying? It, it's, it's too late to fix the things he need to fix in order not to get clipped by Tank. And the crazy thing is, even if he was a elite fighter, there's still a chance that he would get clipped by Tank. Tank is that skillful to where he's going to hit you, bro. You know what I'm saying? He, he's going to hit you. He's going to hit you. And when he hits you, on that chin that Ryan Garcia be having in the air, and when he moving around the ring and he's trading shots, he putting combinations together, so... His best bet is throw like single punches. He got to throw more like single punches. And even then, when when Tank figure out that's what he doing, Tank start pressuring him to bait him into throwing the shot. That's what Tank going to be waiting for with the counter. So, it's a lot of mind games that Tank do. If he can't knock you out on the back foot, he knows how to go on the front foot and get you to throw multiple punches. So when they get into that little firefight where they get the trade, that's where his reflexes kick in and, and, and he uh that's when that counter come in and, that, and that's how he can knock you out. He showed you it what's that boy now? Leo Santa Cruz. So Ryan might hit a little harder than Leo actually though. But Tank showed you how how he did it with Leo Santa Cruz. While he walked him down, bagged him to the ropes. See, he can do it when he's coming toward him, or he can go toward you. He trick you. Leo threw them three right hands in a row. Tank already downloaded that shit. Next thing you know, that uppercut came. And it was, it was, it was that nigga fell. <laughs> like a goddamn, like the snacks in the snack closet. You know, when you grab something and, you, and everything else just falls and shit. You know, you trying to grab a pop tart, you know what I'm saying? And next thing you know, the fruit snacks fall over, all the bags fall out. You know what I'm saying? That's what's gonna happen to Ryan Garcia. That's what happened to Leo. That you know, a lot of guys. Look, when Tank not the uh, Roly, I felt like Roly was very like solid, compact, like body mass, like he was like kind of bigger. Then somebody like Ryan. Ryan more skinny or frail. 
You know what I'm saying? So when he catch him, it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot worse. You know what I'm saying? I don't think you know what I'm saying he'll be able to take that shot. But Ryan, man, we'll get deeper into that, the breakdown of the fight and everything. How I think it's gonna end later on. You know, I mean, look, I ain't got to save it for like He's going to get knocked out. But we'll talk about how later on or whatever. Uh, just congratulations to both of them to being able to make this match. Because this shit going to generate a lot of money, you know what I'm saying, in boxing. It's going to help boxing. It's going to bring a lot of attention to boxing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we got David, Caleb Plant. That shit going to go hard, right? And then... Next thing you know, this going to come the following month. You know what I'm saying? Then the next month or two after that, we might, we might see some more things transpire. So it's like, I'm just saying, bro, this shit can put this this right here. This shit. This shit can do a million pay-per-view buy. You know what I'm saying? Hey, and I might be cheating them out of, out of some hundreds of thousands. They can be more you know what I'm saying? So, it's big, man. It's big, bro. Big, big. But I'm happy for Tank for being able to, you know what I'm saying, lock this in like that. Because a lot of guys do a lot of hating on them. And I just think when it comes to Tank, he got a chance to. I mean, this fight almost like. Floyd, Oscar De La Hoya, you know what I'm saying? Like, this this one of them matches, man. We can say what we want about Ryan, but he know how to uh, promote a fight. He know how to generate viewership. He know how to entertain. So, take, he more like for the streets. You know what I'm saying? He, he got the streets. He got the youth. You know what I mean? So you were here younger, you were here younger, a whole bunch of younger people around my age and under generations after me. These guys like tank, bro. They don't even know these other dudes. They want tank, bro. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, why my little brother gonna call me? Oh, they made it. Thank you, Ryan. You're for yeah, bro. Come to my house. Cause we gonna have. A goddamn fight party, you already know. Yeah, that type of shit, man. Niggas ain't throwing no fight parties for goddamn Dan Haney or some of the other guys. You hear me? Like, this shit is different. So, this gonna boost Tank even further where you wanna be. And then the crazy thing is, he ain't even signed to Floyd Mayweather, so. The fact he probably would have had to give Floyd 30, 35, even though Floyd could have made it somewhat bigger, possibly, you know, but Floyd don't really be around. So, I can't really say that. Because when you look at Tank fight, Floyd come the night of the fight. He don't really do too much promoting himself. You know, Lena on boots on the ground. Tank is the best putting in that work, moving around, making moves. But I'm not trying to shit on Floyd. I'm just saying, like, I'm just thinking about, okay, could Floyd uh, made it bigger for him to be taking a percentage out, like similar to you signing to a record label. Uh, they giving you, can they put, put the number, put the machine behind you, you know, but you give them bigger of, of the pot. They get all your... You know, show money, et cetera, et cetera, or, you know, stream money or whatever. You keep the show money, however it go. I'm just saying, like, I'm just relating it to boxing or whatever. But Tank don't have Floyd, so I think he going to see more money than he would if he would with him. So he to keep all the money. He, keep, he get to keep this type of generational type of fight to himself, shit. For real, to be honest, you get to keep this shit for itself. You get that bag, so Ryan get to get that bag too. He gonna need it for all the goddamn embarrassment he gonna endure. You know all the memes he gonna have to watch. Shit. He can be spending the money, so he ain't on the internet watch looking at the memes. You know what I'm saying? So 
That's a good thing, you know. And plus, he always get hard for even standing up to the tank any fucking way. He's gonna get somewhat up. Niggas ain't just gonna be shitting on him too long. I, I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna be crushing a nigga after the fact, kicking him while he down. I probably talk my shit leading up to the fight, but yeah, man, he definitely going to sleep, bro. He going to sleep. He going to sleep. <laughs> Congratulations to you guys for coming through with this fight for boxing, man. It's some big shit, man. Y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and subscribe already. And I'm out. Deuces.